Hi Living Fam, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, I'm back with another video. I know it's been a while. Um, I just got home from being on the road all being on the road all day. So I decided that hey, why not film a little chit chat, get on ready with me video. Um, because this is usually what I do at night anyway. If I wear makeup, especially I go into a real deep skincare routine at night. And so I have some stuff on my chest that I really want to talk about. And so we're gonna do that in this video. If this is your first time here, my name is Shana K Living. Please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Come, drop a comment, like, all the good stuff. Just let me know that you're watching by just dropping maybe just one simple emoji, like a heart emoji or, or a thumbs up emoji. Just let me know that you're here and you're watching. And for all of my returning subscribers, big up on yourself. I love you. I thank you guys for always reaching out to me when you don't hear from me. Um, I really, really appreciate it. So the first and foremost thing that I'm gonna do, usually my hair is not really in a braid. Um, my hair is probably normally in a like a, a bun or something. So I have this little um, cushion thing that I'm gonna use to push back my hair out, out of my face. And the first thing that we're gonna do is double cleanse. So I'm gonna use this zero, clean it zero cleansing balm. And this is from, I got this on Amazon. Um, this is my second one, um, second time purchasing it. I really like it, it does what it says it's gonna do. So I'm just taking a little bit of it and I'm gonna melt this makeup off before I actually cleanse my skin. I have been, chilling, living life. I guess you can say living the soft life. <laughs> but um, I've been okay for the most part. There are times when I genuinely feel so like unmotivated where YouTube is concerned and just the whole climate of YouTube, it's, it's hard to get noticed. And so it's like, um, I've been doing this so, so long and then sometimes I just feel like, oh my God, the opportunities that I really want to get to me. And this is like a real vulnerable moment with you guys. The opportunities that I really want to be happening for me, I don't find that they're happening. Um, and so it kinda is daunting. And like, I feel like my channel is not growing the way that I want it to grow fast enough. And I feel like I deliver very good content. And if you think that, drop me a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoy my content. Let me know if there are anything that I could do to improve on my content and stuff that you might be interested in watching um, here on my channel. So drop me a comment and let me know. So sometimes I genuinely feel like, yo, maybe this is not the Lord's will for me. Um, and then I talk to him and I want to hear his voice and I don't really know, you know what I mean? But I know one of the things is that I really, really, really genuinely enjoy the connection part of things. I've gotten to meet so many incredible people since I've been on YouTube, my subscribers, other YouTubers and you know, people that you can rally on and talk to and all those things, you know, are from time to time. And the, the connection, like I was saying, if, you're, if not, like I was saying on my Instagram some time ago, it's a connection that keeps me going. And um, I really, really appreciate it. I really love that, that joy of connecting um, that comes with the whole YouTube thing. thing that I wanted to talk about and uh, before we get into that I'm going to be using the case Somerville er Eradicate Daily Foaming Cleanser as my cleanser so like I said I always double cleanse um, first with a cleansing balm and then next with a cleanser I know everybody been seeing it on social media. Oh, living the soft life, um, a life of peace, a life of, you know, having money and making sure that everything is okay, living your best life. Yeah, the soft life, right? 
because the opposite of soft life is hard life and nobody wants to live a hard life, right? And so I know that a lot of people will be comparing themselves to other people living the soft life. And I just want to remind you that not everything that you see on social media, it really goes off the true zine. There are people who are living the soft life publicly on their social media and living a hard life privately. I hope you didn't miss that. On social media, hashtag soft life, hashtag taking care of myself, hashtag I am that bitch. You, you know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about when I talk about it. Z, but these people are in debt, heavily in debt. And so they are living the soft life through debt. Z, so when the camera goes off and when the picture on the phone put down and so, they're a ball at home because they're broke, because they're trying to live a soft life for the internet. So I'm trying to remind you guys that not everything that you see on the internet is something that you should go home and start depressing yourself. It makes sense, you just be grateful for what you have while working towards what you want your life to look like. I also know that being on social media, it looks like everybody living their best life and everything is okay and nobody now really go through nothing because everybody highlighting the good things not in life and just a reminder also that everybody is going through something what i'm going through might be different from what you're going through through but that does not discredit what you're going through and just bear in mind that there's nothing about anybody's life that is perfection and i feel like a lot of us are aiming for things um i touched on it this some time ago where I was talking about, I was posting it on my TikTok, um, where I was talking about like, um, we see these norm now on social media where young people under 25 years old or under 30 achieving a house. Oh, I bought my first house and all of those things, you know, all the grand thing. I'm, I'm traveling to many, many countries in one year and all of those things and it looks so glamorous and it looks so nice and all of that and we're like that's how I want my life to be like why my life can't be like that this is how my dream life that's my dream life but some of us are literally living our dream life now because it's a life that we literally prayed for we ask God like God provide for me this job provide this this this, this husband or this wife for me let me have children and and all of those things and let me able to be, do date night once a week let me able to and you're literally living in that life right now but because social media because you don't buy, you don't buy a house yet you're not in a position the lord has not blessed you with a house yet you feel inadequate you feel like you're not doing enough you feel like my life like i'm 33 i am 40 and i don't own a house not everybody's gonna own a house and that's totally fine like nothing is wrong with paying rent and i touched on this before and so the soft life era that you're seeing on social media please don't get depressed over it please know that everybody basket not ready one time everybody everybody is not going to my life may not look like yours zine it might take a longer road and I feel like if I'm to be real with you guys, I I live a blessed life. I'm, and before, like I was saying to you guys before, but before I get into that, sorry, I'm using the Nissin Mind Brightening Toner from Good Molecules. I really love this stuff. I use it morning and evening on my skin. So I'm using it as a toner um, right now, just to get the excess gunk off if there's anything else left. Me feeling unmotivated and stuff kind of came from some form of comparison on social media. Looking in and say, yo, I really, really wanted this to take place. I really wanted this for me. I want to, I, this is what I want for myself. And so even though I live a blessed life, it's like I'm still thinking about like what it would be like if I had this going. Like if, if, if the YouTube thing worked out, if the influencer thing worked out and stuff. And so, 
sometimes you forget about like all the blessings that God has given to you and and it all happens so and then you have to grow back yourself and bring yourself back to reality and say yo gratitude God has been so good there's a time that I prayed for the life that I'm living now I know I'm living in my blessing I'm living here and I still want more so there's a lack of contentment you know what I mean because yeah hashtag soft life on the internet um and I just want to remind you guys that it's it is okay that you climb from one step to another and also I was talking to, to Jodie about this today and I said to her that yo sometimes you know God give you your blessing and then you see somebody else who then not walk with alignment with God and you know they, 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 they're not a Christian and are committed and stuff and they look like everything I want for them and you're looking in and you say oh boy may I walk with God and I pray every day may I have a relationship with God and like God is not giving me everything that I want you know God not provide for me the way that you think he should be providing you want all the opportunities it's like you want everything to happen like right now and what you realize is that the devil, the enemy, can also bless people. Like give them a lot of things, like give them everything. Because I even use an analogy to say that if you're robbing and stealing from people and you see somebody living a luxurious life and you looking in on them and thinking that, oh, they're living their best and blessed, they're so blessed. Let me tell you, the devil also can give good gifts. You understand me? But the thing is that if he uses it against you and he also uses it to destroy you. You know what I mean? It's not everything good comes from God. Not everything good comes from God. And that's that's one reminder. So when you see the hashtag soft life, you don't know what this person is doing to accommodate um to achieve those things, it's good for you to like remember that you don't know what's happening behind the scenes. And trust God with what you have today because it always provides. He's always going to provide for tomorrow and that's facts. If I were to give you so many testimonies that I have, like we would be there, we'd be there for years upon years. Me just talking about all our testimonies. Um, I'm going in with the overnight exfoliating treatment. This is a formulated AHA and BHA um, and it helps to resurface and renew the skin. So I'm just gonna add a little. This one is also from Good Molecules, guys. It's a nightly one. So yeah, I'm using it as a treatment for my skin. Don't go into debt. Try to live the soft life. Um, try and be content with what you have. No, in the here and the now, and just bless God for what's to come, you guys. We are living in our, our answered prayers. A lot of us are and we must acknowledge God and we must acknowledge what we have and stop allowing ourselves to 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 um be carried away by what we see on the internet because a lot of it is not real, it's curated. Um I'm going in with the ultra repair um hydration cream. This one is first aid beauty. Um yeah, I do. I'm gonna add a little bit of retinol to the moisturizer and just blend that in together. I don't have a 20 step, <laughs> a 20 step um, skincare routine. I literally don't, if I'm to be honest. Um, this is technically what I do. And then I have this sample actually want to get a big bottle of it um this sample it's a aqua bomb sleeping mask and this is the last thing i'm gonna apply i'm just gonna lay a little bit on my skin because you sleep with it and then for extra moisture when you wake up in the morning it will um it will look so so um moisturized and you know for extra plus but this is basically my skin I look so hydrated so moisturized and technically 
This is exactly what I do on a night to night basis. This is basically where I'm gonna end this video. Thank you for listening to me. Comment down below and let me know um, how you're feeling right now. If all is well, I'd love to hear from you. If you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. Keep up with me. I'm more present there. So when you don't see me on YouTube, I'm over on my Instagram. I'm always ready to chat. Thank you guys for watching this video. Until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.